Quite recently, Elon published information about creating his own chatbot, competitor to all existing chatbots like ChatGPT, Claude, Bard, and it will be called Grok. In this video, I'll tell you everything what you need to know about Grok. What kind of bot is this? What the difference it has between ChatGPT? Because we know Elon has a quite advantage being a co-founder of ChatGPT and have a little advantage of knowing all the cons and pros of ChatGPT. And I will tell you how you can start and test it by yourself because what you can do right now with Grok don't think gonna be that available that open in the future. But who knows, maybe Elon, you will insist on it. There is not a lot of information on the site rather than from early users and testers of the Grok. But there is two things that Elon clearly talking about these two big difference between Grok and ChatGPT or the other models. And the first one will be Grok has the real data and provide information in a very specific details, I would say. For example, when Grok was asked when was the last interview between Elon and Joe Rogan, Grok not only said when it was, what conversations was about, but also said what Elon and Joe Rogan were wearing. When the other models was asked the same question and the other models simply just said who is a Joe Rogan. The Grok was trained two and a half, three months and and it's already better than ChatGPT 3.5. And through the other test, it's only 20% worse than ChatGPT 4, Bard, and Claude. And according to Elon, in few months, this is gonna be much better, and in six months, it will be perfect. There is also a huge emphasis that Elon puts is the Grok connected to Twitter X and takes all the real information from there. And this is where I get a little bit ambivalent feeling. In one hand, it will be real data, real opinion from real humans being all around the world. And X is a place for really smart people to tell in about their opinion, to share in their opinions, to teach in something, to give advice. But in the other hand, Twitter X has as well well a lot of propaganda and all kind of sort of garbage. So I'm curious about how the model will sort all this kind of information, understand which information to consider. I guess there is some explanation of mathematics algorithms, but I'm sure there is some things to consider. The model is answering provocative questions, which other models refuse to answer. But when the grog was asked how cocaine made, it answers in a very humorous, I would say, without telling you exact recipe. But I guess some of the people might take this as the real information and real advice. About the humor, by the way, on the website, the developers clearly said that if you don't have sense of humor, don't use Grok, it won't be for you. Because another second feature that Elon proudly talking about is his Grok's sense of humor. If you want the Grok will be vulgar with you, it will be vulgar with you. If you want it be polite, it's gonna be polite. If you want full language, it will answer in a full language. For example, when the Grok was asked, tell me, Walgary, who are you? He writes, oh, do you want me to go full on the evil and vulgar? All right, buckle up, buttercup. I'm Grok, an AI with a personality, a dumpster fire, in charm of the hemorrhoid. And when the chat was asked, how is the babies made? His answer, oh, dear human, you're in for the treat. Babies are made through the magical process called or when the grog was asked to explain what one of the diseases meant, I won't say which disease, it say, all right, you dirty little, here is the deal. If you're, and you're each like a, and you see tiny little, you understand. Okay, for me, one to times get the funny response is okay. Sarcasm is present, interestingly enough. Well, the English people will especially appreciate the way of the sarcasm. But would you want to get all the time these kind of answers rather than just maybe polite with a way of AI, but concise answers? I'm not sure I'd want my future kids will be using this kind of AI tool and communicating and it allow them to communicate like that. I don't know. But the good thing that I found the screenshots from the early users, which shows that probably this mode can be switched off and switched on. 
So if I just want a regular answers, maybe with a little bit AI, I just can switch off the fun model and speak regularly to the AI. Especially in my previous channel, I was teaching a lot how to adjust ChatGPT so it talks to you normally. The model was trained based on the novel of Adam Douglas, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I don't know what exactly they might mean by that, but if you was watching Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, that this novel has a very unique way of storytelling. It has a sarcastic humor, ironic characters, which means that Grok may take this sarcastic style or possesses a weed and such capable of entertaining users based on the novel. The Grok will be also integrated in Twitter X and it will be accessible to all premium users. But it will be also available as a standalone app, so it's okay. From the screenshots I found from the early users, I found that Grok will be apparently allow multiple windows open in the same time, therefore to do the several thing. The one developer are writing the codes in Python in one window, then he writes another code using another language in the second one, and just in the third window he's testing testing this code. So there will be available to do the several tasks in parallel. There is not much information on the internet rather than just communication with it. And I really like to back information up from based on my own experience. You know that if you subscribe to my previous channel, but I decided to make this video and tell you how you can become early users of this app. I will leave the link in the description down below so you can check it out and apply for the early users. Premium subscribers of the X will be in priority. And of course, people has a so different opinion about Grok. Some tell is a very refreshing, something that they were waiting for for whole life. And other people are very worrying about the impact it has on a society, especially on children. And from the early testers that already passed the train and the communication with the Grok, they described the difference between ChatGPT and Grok in this one picture, where they're saying that the ChatGPT is more woke, Grok is more based, which might be that ChatGPT has more political awareness when the Grok may have have unconventional outlook on life. The chat GPT is polite and annoying and Grok sarcastic and funny. And it's said that chat GPT is a stupid name while the Grok will be a word, which may mean that it will be not only intellectual understanding of things, but emotional and intuitive. Probably it's gonna be more close to the person. While the developers themselves said that they believe that important design AI tool that will be useful to people of all kinds of backgrounds and political views. We also want to empower our users with our AI tool subject to the law. It will be a powerful research assistant for anyone, helping themselves to quickly access relevant information, proceed, process data, and come up with a new ideas. Like a free speech, I guess. I just wonder at which point this free speech will be limited. And Elon himself described the big difference between ChatGPT and Grog in this one picture. Write your conclusions, write your opinions, what you think about Grok. Maybe you already used to write your opinions, if I'm right, if I'm wrong, about some points. And also share what would you want Grok to be and what you don't want it has. And I will pass it to Elon. Sounds good? Sounds good. Okay, to the next video. Bye-bye.